me go home. I got set up! For what? It all set me up. Miss Field Children. Miss Field Babies. Daily Black Bear. Good boy. But I got to take. Him up. That's I want I want my children to grow up and be something. Get an education. shoot me. He was going to hit me. I wasn't going to let him lay his hands on me one more time. No more. No more. You keep your hands off because I had a self-finish. You want to take a fourth drunk to cry? Because it wasn't never my fault. It wasn't my fault. I I, I didn't know what to do. This man was going to be eaten. And I couldn't no more. I just, I didn't know what to do. I had to, I had to protect myself. I couldn't let him touch me like that no more. I didn't know what he was going to do to me. It was my fault. You know it wasn't. You know, because you was trying to kill me. And I couldn't let you do it no more. No more. You just didn't do right by me like I did by you. I love you, Ellie. I really did. Ernest? Ernest, you in here? I can smell you. I know you somewhere around here. Come on out here and show you a crack ass, motherfucker. I know you in here. Hey! God damn it, Ernest! Let me the fuck out of here! By myself, you know how I hate to be alone. Hey! Hey! I'm... <laughs> Say a prayer and end. Yeah. Heartfelt prayer. Father. Jesus, 
Jesus, Lord. Forgive me. Forgive me, Lord. Forgive me. Now take your glasses off and do the same kind of stuff. Because in the show and the whole thing, you have these glasses on. And one every so often, you have your glasses off as well. You see, the trouble started the night before. The night of the trouble. Look the other way as well. I was at home. And then they come knocking on my door, want me to go down to the mill with them. And I said, no, I ain't going with you tonight. Project louder, talk louder, something happens with the throat and everything when you do it. physically then, when you speak louder. And then I asked him if he had anything to drink, and he, he only had some home brew. I only took one sip. Now look the other way while you talk. Keep, now close your eyes while you're speaking. Keep your eyes closed tight. Start speaking, both, looking both ways. Go ahead. Do everything this you're doing with your eyes closed. This here trouble started the night before the night of the trouble. He be had come by my house knocking on the door, want me to go down to the mill with him. And I told him I wasn't going to the mill with him that night. And he kept pressing me and pressing me. And I asked him, I said, well, you got anything to drink? I, I said I'd go downtown with him. I'd go to the mill with him. Now stop one second. Keep your eyes closed. I'm going to give you a, 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 a something to do. Okay, hold on. And pace yourself. Don't rush into it, okay? When you're ready, I want you to have a full-blown-out verbal argument with Evie. With your eyes closed. And he's pacing back to the left and to the right of the room. So this is not an argument on that night. This is an argument prior. It's just another one, one of, of the many, one of the many fucked up arguments. As you hear, people are pouncing around this this studio space shelter, so you can be loud. Mm -hmm. it, it, you know, you can get uh, uh huh. Just take a breath. Think about what you what the argument is about, and have the fucking argument. And in your mind, Connie, imagine what he, how he's responding to you. And then you know, just have have. A, I would go like a good couple of minutes with a good argument. You can open your eyes once in a while when you're arguing, and then every so often go back to the closed eyes because you're in your cell, really, mm. and you're rethinking all the the, th the stuff that built up to the point of you needing to do what you did that night. Now, I'm not going to tell you when. Whenever you're ready, you just do it. But when you do it, you get, you get kicked into this. Don't start soft. Get kicked into it. You've been waiting for him to come home. You've been waiting. You, you start the argument. Mm. You have started the argument mm -hmm. tonight, by the way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's walked in, and you've been waiting to give him a piece of your mind. <coughs> no rush. Whenever you're ready, you just argue. Where you been, Ernest? I've been here all day waiting for you. Say what? I only came down here because you kept bothering me, Ernest. You, you, you won't leave me alone. Say what? What about my mother? Fuck you, Ernest. And you leave my kids out of this, too. They ain't got nothing to do with this. And I swear to God, if you go near them one more time... <laughs> nothing. I ain't say nothing. Yeah, I'm talking to you, Ernest. I'm tired of... <laughs> 